Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 19. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit tender this morning or a little bit, you know, sensitive because of last night's Christmas party as you would have seen in yesterday's Vlogmas. Today is a new day, it's a Saturday, and it is kind of poop weather, but I am actually needing to go out and run a few errands. Um, I need to go to the supermarket. Actually, I need to go to the Chinese supermarket. I need to post a few things. Yeah, it's just a busy day of running some errands. Honestly, I never learn, okay? Every year, Christmas party, it gets the best of me. It really does, okay? Five years in London, I have not learned. Every year, it's the same. The next morning, I regret it. Honestly, way too many cocktails. I am running some errands. I am just about to go to a Chinese supermarket because I need to pick up some like essentials and they are so much cheaper when you buy like certain sauces and certain things at the actual Chinese supermarket. I also need to really find uh, a big enough box to ship my uh, screen and my laptop back to my uh, old employer. As, as you guys know, I've quit my job and as such, I need to send all my stuff back, but in the middle of a pandemic, when we don't have offices, I can't actually go and put them in an office or anything. I actually have to ship them there, so that's going to be fun. Just made it into the Chinese supermarket. Do you see the wall of sriracha behind me? Look at all the options of sriracha. I love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm also really hungry and coming grocery shopping when you're hungry is never a good idea. I'm only supposed to be here for a few sauces and things, but let's see what else I can buy. Oh my gosh, sometimes when I'm in the supermarket, it's so overwhelming. Look how many ramen options, instant ramen options there are behind me as well. Oh, anyways, it's so cheap. So much better to go to a Chinese supermarket store rather than to the main high street supermarket. Oh my gosh, guys, do you see how large size these spices are? If you ever need a bulk buy of spices, I would say coming to the Chinese supermarket is way better. But also because it is a restaurant supplier, a lot of these are quantities that restaurants usually buy. So it's way cheaper and you get the restaurant price and you can just walk in as an everyday consumer. On the way out from the Chinese supermarket, I saw a bubble tea place and I couldn't pass it up and not get myself a bubble tea just to kind of cheer myself up and give me a little bit more energy as I continue to run some errands. So this is from Kappa Cha, which is the bubble tea specialist according to them. And I got a lychee black tea with lychee popping pearls. I absolutely love the popping pearls. And like I bought some tapioca pearls in the Chinese supermarket and I'll show you a full haul when I get home of everything that I did buy. But I can't seem to find popping pearls in any of the actual supermarkets. So guys, remember how I said I was only going into the Chinese supermarket for a few things? Well, this is evidence that you should never go in to a supermarket hungry because I just started to buy everything. Now, to be fair, I only go to the Chinese supermarket probably once every four or so months and then I like stockpile on a few things just so I can have them to eat later because a lot of these stuff are like, you know, dry goods or frozen or sauces, so they do last a while. So starting over here, I got some Thai iced tea mix. I'm really keen to try this. I've never tried this before. I also got some Hello Panda little cocoa biscuits with matcha green tea inside. I bought some more tapioca pearls because I love making boba tea at home. I have actually made boba in a previous vlog, so if you guys want to see how I make my own boba tea at home. I'll link that up in the cards right now. I got a few things to make sushi at home. So I've taken a few sushi classes before and I've never actually made sushi at home. So I got the nori, I got the bamboo sushi rolling mat, I got some of the pickled ginger, and this, this stuff is actually what I intended to go in to the supermarket for. So a lot of these Asian sauces I cook with all the time, but the thing is, in London, some of these in like supermarkets, like in Sainsbury's and stuff, is so expensive. Well, it's overpriced. And then they're way better priced at the Chinese supermarket. So I got like teriyaki soy sauce. I got some pad thai seasoning as well. Got oyster sauce. I got some quippy mayonnaise, which I know is 
quite famous in the Asian world. Oh, and this is, this is key. This is key. This is my sriracha. I put sriracha on almost everything. I also got some sushi rice as well to make the sushi. And then I decided to pick up a number of random snacks. Again, I was hungry. So I got all these random crisps, okay? There's like shrimp flavored crackers, honey flavored twists, I don't even know. I also got these, which are tamarind candies. Oh my gosh, they are so good, I love them. It's basically tamarind that's like rolled in a bowl with sugar and chili. Oh, it's so good, I love these. As you can see, I got quite a few. And then the only frozen thing I got was some vegetable and chicken gyozas. I got a number of different uh, ramen packets. These are pre-made. All you do, have, you have to add water to these. And then I got a few noodles that you can just, you know, they're like pasta basically, but the Asian version. So I got some udon noodles and then I got some pad thai noodles. And then I got some of these, which are basically like rice noodles, but they are like flat rice noodles and this is like chen fung I think that's how you pronounce it and you basically just quickly fry these up and then you add a sauce on top and they're so good I also got some more seasoning here this is a Szechuan pepper seasoning and I picked up just some basic chopsticks they're just basic black chopsticks that I can throw in the dishwasher because I don't like throwing my wood ones in the dishwasher but yeah as you can see I was hungry and this is what happens when you are hungry I'm actually probably going to make some gyozas and maybe even some some of the ching fung as well and maybe have some snacks. I'm just hungry, so I'm going to actually cook something up and eat it now. As I said earlier, I was going to start cooking up and eating some of the Chinese snacks and Asian food that I did pick up. This is the cheng fung, which is the rice noodle dish, which this is just boiled. I boiled it for like five minutes. Sorry, not boiled, steamed. I steamed it for five minutes. And then I'm probably going to put a little bit of chili oil sprinkling on top of it. And I also have a little bit of oyster sauce that I'm going to put on top. Just mix it all together and eat it. It's just such a nice little snack. I'm also gonna eat some gyozas as well. I am coming to the end of my day. Honestly, that Christmas party wrecked me yesterday. I am so tired, oh gosh so tired but i wanted to open my advent calendars with you guys because it is day 18 so let's open day 18 where is day 18 i'm gonna do the hardest calendar first i normally do the easy calendar first oh it's not day 18 oh my gosh i am so tired i was like what i already opened day 18 because duh day 18 was yesterday come on anika Jeez, honestly, this is bad. Okay, I need day 19. Okay, I found day 19. Let's see what I got. Oh, another Cadbury milk chocolate bar. Yay. Okay, now day 19 on the second calendar. Got it. Lint chocolate ball. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my chocolate, probably chill out, watch something on Netflix. If you guys haven't already seen my blog on the top 10 Netflix movie recommendations, I highly recommend you guys check that out. I'm probably gonna watch one of those movies that I said I would watch. But also, I, I just literally heard that London is going to go into tier four lockdown. Yep, Boris just announced a new level of lockdown here because of the new variation of the virus, which means that obviously infection rates are spreading quite quickly again. Oh, poop, 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 poop. But I do hope that whatever Christmas plans you guys are making for Christmas, if you are in the London area or even in England, because I heard that two thirds of England is in the strictest level of lockdown now. I hope you guys are still able to feel festive and try to get excited about Christmas. I have some big plans for Christmas actually. And um, I'm really excited to share with you guys. I'm gonna probably tell you guys tomorrow or the next day. So make sure you subscribe and follow along so you know about my change in Christmas plans because I'm really excited. Can you guys guess? Can you guess? I feel like I've been talking about it for days. But anyways, make sure you subscribe and like this video and I will catch you in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye.